Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. In today's video, I would like to review a uh, pattern I just completed. Grab my glasses. I'd like to review a pattern I just completed. Um, it's uh, Simplicity 8796. Simplicity 8796. And I did view C. This red coat right here. So I had the... Um, black and white fabric that I want to um, finish as the jacket for yeah I had this uh, coat black and white uh, cotton sateen that I got from move that I want to wanted to do for this coat I saw this coat absolutely love this coat um, I saw it on Park Park Avenue yeah I think that's the site I saw it on Park Avenue had this lovely coat um, and so I wanted to kind of replicate um, what she had, not necessarily the same thing, but um, the fabric I had was this black and white one to make a statement jacket. It's not something, or coat, sorry. It's not something I'd be able to wear every day or just any day. I think it would be a statement piece relevant for like, not necessarily a special occasion, but just something that stands out. Um, for this color, I think it could be worn with red not necessarily this, like a red. Um, it could be done with uh, yellow. It could be done with almost any bright color. Blue, of course, black, um, white. So for today, I'd like to just review it. Again, I said I did view C. And view C, I did the length, I think, was 51 inches. You know I'm short because I wanted a long jacket, which I don't normally wear. So let me start by um, showing you what it looks like and what I think about it. So uh, basically, this is what it looks like. For this, I didn't have to do much because um, I did just sewed it rough edges inside because it was going to be lined. Didn't have much to do. Um, this is what the inside looks like. This thing looks like a blue, a royal blue or something like that, but I promise you, it's a black, it's, it's the light. So I like the finish um, on the collar. The only thing is I wanted to, to break it a bit deeper so that it folds on the inside better, but this is the best I could get. Um, where's the end? All the way down. I hand stitched the, the hem of this one all the way because when I tried to like machine stitch the end I couldn't get the fabric to even out so hand stitching it ended up um, being my best option there was supposed to be a button hole right here because it has the pattern has a button weft pattern piece I eliminated that because I got this far and I was like no I'm not even gonna venture to that I think if I need a button or something like that, I could make a hook and eye on the front and just put a, a, a fake button, a full button on the front, giving the impression that it closes with a button. Um, this is the other side of the closure right there. And the other side of the hem. The sleeve on the inside. I'm trying to see if I can. This one is machine stitched on the inside down. Yeah, so basically, this is what it looks like. The only thing I need to do for this coat is to. Where the neck line meets here, I might be too close. Where the neck line meets here, I need to align both and do like a tack on the inside so that this um, piece doesn't move and it keeps it still. So whether I'm wearing or not, or it's hanging, I won't have an uneven balance there. Yeah, overall, I like it. 
it's something I will definitely be making again but I will make the shorter I definitely will make the shorter version for this so yeah absolutely love it um let me see if I could try it now so that you can take a look and tell me what you think I'll add clips on the inside So let me step back so you can see it. So what I said when I, I meant that for this piece that folds right here, I wanted a deeper fold, perhaps this coming all the way down like this, but the pattern has it just a little closure there than the button right here. And so, and of course it has pockets, but I think for me, the pockets are down too far because my waistline is here, hip is here, and I think it's right down far enough that if I put my hands in both pockets, I have to reach far down to get to the base of my pockets. So yeah, I'm thinking of a wool version, or I might just make, not make elaborate coats anymore, <laughs> but I don't know. I, I love this one. The idea that I had in my head, the concept looked it looked okay to me when I thought about it. I thought it was a great idea, but now that I've made it, I don't know, because I've conquered or I achieved what I set out to do. But now that I have it, it's like, I'm not sure I like it anymore. It depends. Um, I haven't been able to go outside and do an actual picture of it yet. So um, I don't know how it looks basically outside, but for wearing it inside, I took a few pictures on the inside which again, I really don't like doing because I don't wear shoes inside my house and I had to kind of find a corner to put an outfit together and put my shoes on. So I don't like that idea. But um, again, I tried two pictures and I'll post them up so you can take a look. Um, I'll also show you the process. The other portion of this that I didn't like is the fact that this fabric, the lining kind of, it's constantly just unraveling so every time I cut something, that area is just raveled out and I have to use my pinking shears to kind of minimize that. But then I have to research and see if there is a better quality lining out there that doesn't shred and un unravel the way this does or regular so that my future coats or jackets, I will experience some unraveling of the fabric, but not this much. So I'd be able to work easier or a lot better with the fabric i think making it in a cotton sateen too was also um doable at first i thought i needed something thicker and i needed to interline it because i bought the fabric to in the thing to interline it it didn't need that the only thing that i um interfaced or interlined was the uh facing for the jacket which is here that's the only thing i did and the upper collar under collar there's one thing that's missing from this though it's the shoulder pads however i put sleeve heads in on them because i just i can't and i've closed it so it means i won't be adding any shoulder pads to it okay i i probably need to stand and do that and see how it looks without the shoulder pads i thought it looked okay but So this is what it looks like without the shoulder pads. I don't think it looks bad, but that's just me. I think it's fine without the shoulder pads. And again, it depends on what I'm wearing it with. I tried it with a turtleneck, a black turtleneck, which is not so thick, but if I'm gonna wear a, th a thicker sweater or something like that, that it will work fine with the space up there. And my shoulders don't seem to be drooping at least not that much so i think i will be fine with it the way it is yeah i think i'll be fine so basically um this is my simplicity coat i can't say i love it i normally would say i absolutely love something when i make it but i can't say i love it 
I like it for right now. It's not coming out as I want it to. Maybe I need some sunshine. Maybe I need a nice picture background. Need to be outside. So um, when I'm doing my year end video, which I'm dreading might be a long one, um, I will probably retake pictures for some of the stuff I've made just to see how they fit in different places, but um, mainly for this one because I think it might look better with a different background or if I style it differently. I'll put pictures up again throughout the video so you'll see and um, probably can give feedback. So that's my take on Simplicity 8796 for this week. Um, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I'm working on my next jacket right now, which is this one. Let's see if I can show you. It's on the machine. And um, my top stitching thread. So yeah, it should be done. Um, I should be finished with that one for this weekend and then start my other project, which is the finish my other project, which is the jumpsuit. So thank you very much for watching. This is all I have for you for today. Um, a review of my jacket. Have a great day. Let me know what you think as well. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Bye.